In this video, I will be sharing with you practically how you can edit and post your videos onto your YouTube channel. Remember that some days back, I did a video here on this channel showing you how you can actually create a YouTube channel using your mobile phone. Also, I went ahead to do another video showing you practically how you can film YouTube videos with your smartphone. Now, in this video, I will be sharing with you also practically how you can edit and post your videos onto your YouTube channel. If you've not watched the previous videos, that is the video on how to create a YouTube channel with your phone, how to film your YouTube videos with your smartphone, I will really encourage you to go watch that video. The links to the videos will be down in the description box of this video. And I'll also leave the video up here. Okay, you can see a link up here. You can click on it and it will take you to the previous video you missed. This is actually a series. This is me showing you how you can create, how you can film, how you can be successful here on YouTube with just your smartphone. Okay, with just your smartphone. Now, before I go deep into it, if you're just coming across the channel for the first time, Hello, you're highly welcome. My name is Oni Omura and here in this channel, I create content around starting and growing an online business. I go in depth with affiliate marketing, drop shipping, importation, and different ways to make money online. If you're looking for ways to make money online, either with your YouTube channel or with affiliate marketing, drop shipping, you're definitely in the right channel. Do ensure you subscribe and become a member of this family. Also, turn on your bell notification to get notified each time I upload videos. If at any point in this video you find this video helpful, I would appreciate you giving the video a thumbs up, okay? It really, really helps video do well here on YouTube. So guys, before I go onto my phone screen right now and show you how you can practically edit your YouTube videos, permit me to say that there are different apps that you can actually use to edit your YouTube videos on your phone. Either you're using an Android phone or an iPhone, the apps are all available on any of these devices, okay? And one of the app is called InShot. You can use InShot on your phone to actually edit your YouTube videos. The second app that you can also use to edit your YouTube video is called CapCut, okay? The names will be on the screen. The first is InShot. The second you can use is CapCut. CapCut is another video editing app that you can use to edit your videos. Another one is called KineMaster. KineMaster is also a video editing app that is available on Android and iPhone. You can also use it to edit your YouTube videos. But in this video today, I'll be showing you how you can use InShot to edit your YouTube video. The reason I'm starting with InShot is that InShot is 100% beginners friendly and you can get the best from InShot. So I'm going to show you the basic things you need to know whenever you're using InShot to edit your YouTube video. So without much ado guys, let's dive straight onto my phone screen where I'll be showing you practically how you can edit. Not just editing, I will also be showing you how you can upload these videos to your YouTube channel. So let's go straight into it. Now guys, the first thing I want you to do now is to go to your Play Store or your Apple Store and install the InShot app, okay? You can see the app on my screen. This is what the app look like. It's called InShot. As soon as you install it, you click open, okay? When you open it, this is what you will get. This is like the home page of this app. Now go ahead and click on video because we are interested in editing video. When you click on video like this, you can see all the videos you have if you've created any when you come here just go ahead and pick the video you want to edit you should have recorded a video before you'll be coming to edit your videos right so for you to edit you should at least have a video now go ahead and select the video you want to edit when you select the video I am using this as an example select the video and click on good allow it to load now you can see your video here let me explain some of the features you can see here the first feature is this which is canvas so canvas actually help you size your video according to the platform where you want to post i don't know if that makes sense so when you click on canvas like this you can see it is on 16 by 9. 16 by 9 is the ideal size for a youtube video do you understand 16 by 9 is the ideal size for a youtube video while this other one 
which is 9 by 16, it is ideal for TikTok video. So if you want to make TikTok video, you want to edit your TikTok video, you should be using the 9 by 16. But the ideal one that you should be using for your YouTube when you're editing YouTube video is 16 by 9. When you click on 16 by 9 like this, you go ahead and click good. Okay, again, let me explain something. You can see where it's written pinch to zoom in. So you can actually click the video like this and zoom in or you pinch down to zoom out. Okay, you can pinch down to zoom out or you pinch in like this to zoom in. I don't know if you're following, if you're understanding, please like this video. I will appreciate that. So I'll leave it the way it is like this and click good. The second one is music. Click on music. When you click on music, you can see record. If you want to record a voiceover, let's say you're using a video that doesn't have voice, you can actually go ahead and record a voiceover. Once you click on record, this is record here. Once you click on it, okay, you can go ahead and record a voiceover. So let me click on it and record exactly what I'm saying. Click on while in the app. So it's counting down. Pause it here and then we'll play it and see. Let's go back and play it. From here now, anything I'm saying is actually recording. You get, I don't want this to actually record out. That is how you can record a voiceover on your videos here on InShot. So I'm going to cancel that. So another thing you can do is to click on effect. You can see different effects there that you can use. Okay, different effect sound. Remember this is music. So it's talking about the sound that you can use. Apart from that, we also have track. So these are different tracks here on InShot that you can use. But before you use any of them, please beware of copyright. Okay, if you want to use any music for your YouTube videos, ensure you get royalty free music so that you don't have any issue with copyright do you get that so let's go back from here the next feature there is sticker go ahead and click on sticker now when you click on sticker the first one there you can go ahead to add any sticker of your choice to download all go ahead and click on the free download okay when you click on the free download other stickers will be downloaded for you now guys you can see that i have successfully downloaded more stickers so this is the subscribe sticker you can click on the arrow to increase or either decrease it if you don't want it click on x to delete okay so if these are different stickers this is the like sticker if you're telling your viewers to like your videos you can as well add the like sticker like this okay you can resize it increase it or decrease it if you don't want it you go ahead and click on the x there to delete it also on sticker we have text so you can click on text like this to add any text let's say i want to add something like thanks for watching thanks for watching so this is it here you can add text like this then you can click on this color pattern when you click on it you see different colors that you can use for your text okay and these are more thanks for watching at the bottom here you see more colors that you can use so go to InShot and play around with all of these and then come out with something great this is me showing you the basic thing you need to know so when we are done with that again on sticker we have what is called mosaic okay you can use mosaic to hide any sensitive information that is showing in your youtube video let's say while you're recording you recorded a sensitive information and you want to hide it you can actually use mosaic to hide it now let me put this on my face like this so that you see what i'm saying and increase it you can see that it's hiding my face so if there's any sensitive information you want to hide you can use the mosaic feature there to actually hide it so let me remove this i'll delete and click on good so the next again is test i've explained text let me explain some animations here when you have text like this you can click on edit okay you can change the font these are different fonts that you can use okay again you can put some transition you can include transition on your text these are some transition that you can use can you see this from here you can either reduce or increase the speed so these are some transition that you can use so these are nice free transitions that you can use for your editing let's say i want to delete this you come here you can see delete there go ahead and click on delete 
Now, the next is filter. On filter, the first thing you'll get is effect. When you click effect, you can see different effects that you can use. Now, under basic, you can see the zoom in effect. You can reduce or increase it. This is the zoom in effect. This is the tremble effect. If you want something like this, if you want the rolling effect, this is it here. Okay. You can use any of this effect to add more life to your videos, to make your video interesting for your viewers to watch. Okay. After effect, you see filter, click on filter like this. Now you can filter if you want bright, something brighter, you can see it. You can see the different filter here. If you don't want any of this, you want to adjust everything on your own, you go ahead and click on adjust. Now from here, you can adjust the lightness. You can see me adjusting lightness. After that, you can click on contrast, adjust the contrast, either negative or positive. Then warmth, okay, you can add a bit of warmth to your video like this. The next one is tint. You can see it's changing the color, okay? So depending on what you want, go through all of them. You can see highlight, you can see shadow, you can see color. If you want to change this color, you can see the color is changing here, okay? So these are different color modes that you can use for your video that's that about filter next feature is peep so go ahead and click on peep with peep like this you can add another footage and it will be playing on top the one you already have you can either add a video or you add photo let's say i have photos i want to add okay Let me add this so when you click on peep and you click on any video or photo you want to add, it will bring it on top of your main video. Did you see it? Let's say you're explaining something and you want to add an image of what you're explaining or you want to add a video of what you're saying. You can go ahead and use the peep feature. Just go ahead and click on peep and add either the photo or the video you want to add. You can see me, I've added this. Can you see it now? So that's that about peep. Now the next is pre-cut. You can actually trim your video and get the exact part you want. Okay, you can also cut it this way or you can split. So the next feature here is split. Let's say there is a part of your video that you don't want so you can split and then delete that part. So let me play this video here and get a part that we don't want. I'll show you how to split. So guys, did you see this? I actually started Hello Beauty and this is like a mistake and I want to delete it. So what I will do is that this is the beginning of this video. I'll take it to the part where I made that mistake, split and then delete. So follow me closely. So you see to this point, I want to delete to this point. So I'll go ahead and click on split. Immediately you click on split, you will notice that the video has been splitted. Now click inside the portion you want to delete. So I'll click inside the portion I want to delete like this. Ensure it's facing each other like this. And then go ahead and hit on delete. So you've noticed that part has been deleted. Now I can go ahead and play my video. So guys, you see the part has been deleted. So that's how you split and delete any part of your videos that you don't really want. Actually, most of the videos you see on YouTube are all edited video. You don't know what's happening behind the camera. So even if you make any mistake during your filming process, don't worry. When you come for editing, you can actually cut off those parts where you made mistake. Okay, so don't keep repeating your filming process just because you're making mistake. YouTubers, we are not perfect we all make mistake all we do is that we come and edit as perfect as we can so when you see the edited video on youtube you think that's how we made it no we actually have some lapses that we have edited okay so this is me showing you how you can edit and remove any part that is not wanted in your video the next after split is delete i've showed you how you can actually delete any portion of your video that you don't want then the next is background if you want to notice it let's go back to canvas like this when you go back to canvas let's choose this tiktok format okay let me pick this tiktok format and then go back to background you'll notice that my background is changing from here did you notice the change in background now okay you can see that the background color is changing did you see it you can blur this out can blow it out or you can change the background color 
completely so there's that about background so just play around with everything you have here and come out with something simple but also something amazing now let's say i have edited something like this and i want to undo it okay i made a mistake i want to undo it go ahead and click on this back arrow you see here you can see this arrow that is facing back just click it to undo so i'll click it and it will undo this background i've added okay it says undo background i'll click it again to undo canvas okay so guys hope you're understanding so that's that about background the next thing is speed when you click on speed you can add your speed so guys after speed the next is crop okay just for cropping your footage so you can crop out the parts you want and the parts you do not want okay so i don't want to do that right now the next is volume okay you can add the volume to 100 percent and click good let me undo this speed, guys. Let me undo this speed and leave it the way it is. Okay, now I've added volume to 100%. Hi, guys. You're back. So you can notice that it actually added the volume a bit, okay? The next is voice effect. Voice effect. Guys, I don't usually play around with this, but if you want to use it, okay, just go ahead and try it out and use it on your video. Now, what else? duplicate if you want to duplicate you click on duplicate if you want to reverse maybe you did something and you want to reverse it just go ahead and click on this arrow this back arrow it's the same thing with the reverse you're seeing there if you want to rotate you can rotate okay so this is rotate i don't need that so these are the basic things you need to do when you're editing. I've explained almost all of the features here. So that's basically how you can use a short to edit and have a perfect video. Okay. Now let's say you're done editing. You're okay with what you have. Play it again to the end and ensure that it is fine. It is okay. You go ahead and click on save. You can see save at the top right hand corner of your screen. So this is save here go ahead and click on save when you click on it you can see the resolution is on 1080p the frame rate is 30 okay i will leave it this way this is how i usually save my videos and then i'll click on save so because this is a free app okay you'll see some adverts popping in like this if you don't want to see any of these adverts you can always upgrade to the pro version of InShot. but presently you can start up with the free version the only disadvantage is that you will see adverts popping up at intervals so just click on this s okay now you can see our video is converting okay and as you can see our video is done converting and it has saved automatically now i also told you that i'll be showing you how to upload this video on youtube okay now when you are done with editing and you've saved just head over to your youtube app when you come to your youtube app like this and you want to upload your video that is the video that you've edited go ahead and click on this plus icon you're seeing at the bottom of your screen click on it click on upload a video okay now select the video you want to upload this is it here and then click on next add the title of your video let me leave this as in short tutorial so let's say this is the title of the video and then you want to add description please ensure it's on private you can see we have public on listed and private ensure it's on private like this okay leave it on private then after you're done uploading and doing all the necessary editing you have to do here you can then go ahead and make it public okay is it for kids no it is not for kids so i'll leave it the way it is i'll go back the next is location if you want to add your location you can go ahead and click on that if you have a playlist you can go ahead and click on it when you're done just go ahead and click on next okay you see next it's still asking you to select your audience i already have my selected i'll click on upload now you can see from the bottom here our video is actually uploading did you see it at the bottom there is uploading when you click on library at the bottom you can see the progress 
you can see the progress is making so our initial tutorial video is uploading seven percent you just wait for it to upload completely that's basically how to edit and upload your youtube video guys thank you for watching to this point please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're yet to you don't want to miss out on my subsequent video guys i'll see you in the next one bye for now and take good care of yourself